Welcome to the next episode of my photography vlog and today you join me on a um, unexplored area really. It's along the coastline of Cork, it's just past the place called Oyster Haven and I'm looking over here at um, two islands called the Sovereign Islands and that's what I'm going to be shooting um, today. It's really kind of the first day of spring as well, you can see this beautiful light, lovely um, fluffy clouds as well on the horizon. It does look we're going to get a, um, a nice sunset. I'll give you a look at the islands in a moment, but for now, I'm going to get set up here um, and I'll give you a, a viewpoint or a look at the viewpoint I see in a moment. moment now uh, is on the edge of this headland and this headland itself actually as you may probably see from some of the drone footage I would have shown a second ago uh, is effectively a stack on its own it's still a small bit connected by a tiny little strip to the mainland and um, on the distance here in the background I've got these two islands they're the sovereign islands and in the far distance then as well I don't know if you can see it or not in the camera is the old head of uh, Kinsale and the lighthouse on the head of Kinsale. So it's a beautiful rugged coastline, it's a lovely calm day, it's the first day of spring like I said and um, I'm here to shoot sunset and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explore this uh, stack itself, there's some beautiful compositions I do think, there's some lovely um, ruggedness and rawness to the rocks as well that are here. The sun is going to set, it's going to go behind the headland here but looking at the clouds they should light up so I want to go a bit further down on this stack here so I can get as well some um, foreground interest, some rocks in the foreground interest as well. So um, I'll crack on and uh, I'll check back in again once I get further on down um, below here. <music> further on down now on this uh, headland stroke stack and I'm almost to my end destination which is going to be on the rocks that are below me but as I was coming down here um, I noticed that the two islands that I was looking at the sovereign islands the further I go down on this cliff face the harder it's going to be to be able to get separation islands now are going to actually look more or less in the same as the one island so the op op I suppose the options that I have is to continue further on over here um, along this uh, cliff face but it'll be going in the opposite direction from where I want to go, which is below me here, um, to the rocks that are below. On the distance, I can see the old head of Kinsale, and I can see the old head lighthouse. And there's a bank of cloud that's there right now, and it's actually helping me, because a moment ago, when I was doing some test shots, the light was very, very direct. So it was very hard for me to expose. There's some beautiful um, clouds in the sky that are lining this whole area with these two um, uh, islands that are in front of me. And with the uh, exposure I have at the moment, I have a little stopper which gives me six stops of extra light. I also have a 0.9 medium grad on the top here as well. And I'm at f14, ISO is at 50 and it's giving me two seconds. So um, I'll just take that shot here and I'm focusing on the um, two islands that are in front of me, the Sovereign Islands. And what that gives me is a lovely shot. It's um, framed by the clouds that are above. I've got some movement as well, uh, not a lot, it's only two seconds, but I've got a bit of movement in the water as well. And those two islands there, once the cloud goes, I will wait and I will get the shot that they're lit and side lit by the setting sun. And um, it's just another opportunity really to get some shots along the way. And I do think this is going to produce some nice shots. So I'll crack on from here and I'm going to head further on down here now so I can get some movements in the water. The tide will be uh, coming in as well around the time of um, sunset. So we should see some nice movement on the, um, uh, the, the, the rocks with the water moving over it. So that's it for now. I'll pop this image that I'm taking here in a moment, but I'm going to wait till I get a bit of that light so it does actually become a nicer image with the side light on those two islands.
I've managed to come down here now to the edge of the water line. It was quite a scramble down the cliffs, but it's been absolutely worth it because as you can see right now, there's some nice waves that are coming through. I have to be careful and keep watching um, in case a rogue wave would come in and wipe out the camera. But there's some beautiful shots now that are happening because I'm getting a gorgeous sky. There's a lovely orange glow. I think you can probably see it there on the um, right hand side of the screen. But what's happening now is that orange light is reflecting on the um, water, getting a nice bit of side light on one of the sovereign islands. And when these big waves are coming in here, I'm waiting until the water is going out. And what that's doing is I'm seeing a cascade of the water coming down um, over the rocks in front of me. So it is giving a beautiful image. And I'm taking multiple shots. I'm waiting for, like I say, the wave to come in. And as it goes out, I'm taking the shot. And I'm going to um, continue now as well to adjust my uh, exposure time. I'm going to go from between, at the moment, I'm at a third of a second. Then I'm going to go up to a half a second as the light will fade. And ultimately, I'll go for a one second exposure. But it's beautiful. The light, the sky, as you can see in the background here, there's some beautiful clouds. And now I'm being rewarded as well with um, this phenomenal power on these waves that are coming through. One came through a moment ago here and actually splashed the front of the camera, so I have to be extremely careful. Um, but a stunning headland, one that I've never seen photographs from here before. Um, it is a bit out of the way to be able to get here, and like I said, it was a um, pretty big uh, hike down to get down to here, but absolutely phenomenal. So um, I'm going to finish up this episode. I really want to concentrate here and get the nice shot i want to wait for the right waves that are coming through i'd like to thank you for watching this episode i do hope you enjoyed it i definitely had fun uh, exploring this area here it's beautiful as a big wave um so i'm going to take a shot now um but anyhow uh, thank you very much uh, as always if it's your first time on the channel please do subscribe you'll get to see a lot more of the irish coastline and in ireland as well um and for now thanks very much and schlong the fold